Hi guys, and welcome to this uh, different chat that I'm going to have with a Matthews from Suncorp. Hey, thanks for joining me today, mate. No worries. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, you're the first person from Suncorp I'm talking to with finance and Jeez, coffee. Jays, no hey, pressure. No pressure, man. <laughs> okay, so so let, let's let's take the audience back to when finance and coffee first came out. Yeah. All right, so I think that was around about 2017. That's correct. Um, and um, I think mention of of suncorp at that point in time was less than positive yep um but you guys have come a long way absolutely um and we can see that in the last you know, what is it six to seven well potentially even eight months absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. so so tell me about what's going on there because it's you know previously yep how do i put it negative comments about turnaround times and yep. so forth yeah now it's the re exact reverse yeah so, so what's going on i think i think um the story and I, I like always to use the story yep um because uh, it, it's a bit of a journey, right? So essentially what's happened is um, if I look back at uh, 18 months ago where we were, uh, almost 24 months ago, we've had a new leadership team. Yep. Um, and then along with that new leadership team came a bit of a vision with regards to where we wanted Suncorp Bank to be, right? So traditionally in the past, Suncorp Bank has always been, we put a sharp offer out there mm. and then wait till the system crashes and let you guys have the worst experience. Yeah. And then afterwards, you know, we have the complaints that mount up, mm. right? So taking that whole journey mm. to a journey of, we need to be consistent. We need to ensure that when we put ourselves out there, we've got the technology, we've got the people, we've got mm. the process uh, doing the heavy lifting, which ensures that, our customers, so brokers and clients get the best experience, right? So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in there, yeah. right? Because um, being a former bad even myself, it was hard. Absolutely. It, was, it was hard <laughs> when the the lender, whoever you work for, lack of a better word, uh, goes off track. Yep. And then you're gonna have to go back out there and 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 make friends again, right? So <laughs> most of you guys listening right now, you probably know what you've been through at multiple times, where you you know essentially you feel like you've been burned. Correct. And then, right. and then the BDM, you're probably not going to want to see that BDM for no, six months, right? No. So, so it's an absolute champs of BDMs and, that you've And got that's the reality of that. the transaction, right? So if mm. you look at it, we come out with a sharp offer. Mm. By the time the sharp offer gets to a deal, mm. it's between four and six weeks. Yep. And in that four and six weeks, a lot can happen behind the scenes where an application, you know, a whole bunch of applications comes through in the first couple of weeks systems and processes can handle up to there. And then from the third and the fourth week, which is when most of our good brokers start bringing deals in, yep. things start to fall over, yep. right? And that was a repetitive cycle, right? Mm. So what we had to do is we had to first understand what part of technology we could use. So then technology would do the heavy lifting, mm. which means our assessors wouldn't have to do the heavy lifting. Yep. So automation of a whole bunch of metrics from the lending journey. Mm. That's what we did and that's where we created Sunlight. So the value proposition in Sunlight is when you lodge a deal, as long as it meets the metrics and have a chat with your BDM, your BDM should, and I mm. encourage all of you guys to have a chat with your BDM because they should be on point with this. But the reality is um, essentially what we're looking at is PAYG or simple self-employed Equifax score of about 838. So that's just guidance. Don't forget internal mm. risk grading applies. Mm. Uh, and then afterwards, we give you access to do your upfront valuation. We also, um, uh, the DTI is uh, five and under. Uh, and then afterwards, your um, when you have access to your valuation, we also give you access to um, uh in terms of submission, you don't have to actually load up a whole bunch of documentation, right? So we give you some uh, general metrics with regards to what needs to be loaded up. Mm. Again, that was seen as a big pain point because in the past, we would ask for statements for up to about four months to validate transaction accounts, etc. Mm. None of that is required now yep. in the sunlight metrics, right? And when that deal comes in, because the system does a lot of the heavy lifting, 48 hours is what we promise, yet yeah. at the same token. I was going to say, because <laughs> we've seen a lot of 
posts in the group. Yep. It's not 48 hours. It's a lot quicker well, than that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, some of our assessors, there's a specific queue to look after these. Yeah. Some of our assessors say they can probably pick up a file, move it along in about 40 minutes. That's that's insane. Correct. That's insane. All right. But obviously, like most things, exactly. you, you're going to go. Correct. For, yeah, Correct. Right. And that's the reason why we always position ourselves at 48 hours. Yeah. Because, yes, we can get a better outcome, mm. and that's great. Yep. Yet at the same token, when we are at capacity, mm. 48 hours, we can still deliver. So what mm. I'd love for you guys to have a look at as well, because don't take Abe's word for it. <laughs> All right. This is just a chat, but don't take. I want you to go for the, the, the search yeah. and, and look at, you know, uh, either type in Suncorp or uh, Suncorp Train, because that's that's been trending in the last six months, yep. because everyone's going wow, the uh, the speed of reply is fantastically Correct. fast. And I think we never actually knew what type of product that was. It yeah. was just, we, I think everyone just assumed it was just, just some corporate yeah. in general, right? Yeah. But, it, is, but it's it's really, is it the sunlight? Absolutely. And right. so we are, most of our BDMs, not only BDM, site managers, mm. Troy, uh, all the uh, leadership team, everybody's mm. speaking about sunlight because that's the business that we really want to do. Yep. And that's the business that we know we can really excel with in terms of our service proposition, right? Yeah. So the journey for us is we've got the application bit right. We're starting to stare into documentation. Yep. And then we also want to ensure that settlements is also the same experience, right? So documentation also we've started to mm. absolutely nail where on a sunlight deal, we can achieve documentation also mm. within about 48 hours. Yep. As long as we have another key technology update that we brought out for you guys, which is Sun Verify, right? So Sun Verify is our verification of ID mm -hmm. combined with KYC. So it's all in the one format. Wow. Very simple. All you do is on our broker portal, there's a link. You send it out to your client. Your client does everything mm -hmm. through our technology partner. Yeah. The client has to have a minimum two ID documents. They take a photo, upload it, they do everything. Mm. It captures KYC as well as VOI. Comes back into us, yep. which ensures the journey about this is, and this is critical that you get this done upfront because then the documentation process becomes a lot more easier. Whereas if we use the old manual method for us to pull that documentation from the lodgement center into our documentation platform, is a journey in itself. Yep. And that can be a pain point. So all we're asking for our brokers is enjoy the sunlight experience, bolt Sun Verify to it, and you will ensure that your customer gets their docs out pretty quickly too. Yeah. And then it's a matter of getting the file ready for settlements. That's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, because we've, you know, like I said, I've been uh, hugely surprised. Yeah. Um, uh, given the fact that when we started out, all, all the negativity, right? But then now it's just people just going, wow, wow. And then we also see other people going, I haven't used them for a long time. Yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll take your, you know, we'll take a punt and I, then they haven't been, um, you know, they, they've been actually very, very happy with what you guys do. I think, Dean, that's the, that's the bit that really, even mm. when you say that right now, mm. it actually, um, creates a burst of excitement for me because mm. reconnecting with people who've had that trust with us, who've actually used us in the past and getting them to re- uh, reconnect with us and uh, ensure that their clients have the right experience. That's what we want. Yep. That's what brings us joy, right? Uh, and and I can vouch for this. I mean, right up from our CEO to the head of um, our EGM for lending to the head of uh, back office lending operations, which is Kate's Eye. Mm -hmm. All of them are so customer obsessed that in everything that they do, they want to ensure the customer experience is absolutely seamless. That's what we want to aspire to. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you think of it, right, uh, people choose uh, a bank. What's the purpose of choosing a bank? To get what well, they don't want to make themselves look dumb. Uh, I'll be honest, right? So previously, y yes, yes, you know, we we do see a lot of comments going, "Who's got the best rate?" Yeah. or "Who's got the best cashback?" Right? Correct. You remove the cashback now. Spot on. Right. Then then the rates are whatever. Yeah. But then it comes down to us. Is that bank going to make me look correct to my client? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And so, so just to add value in terms of the rates piece also, mm. again, we made another change. In the past, we were clunky. We were an Excel spreadsheet, which had to be filled. No way. <laughs> Let's not even go there. Right? Okay. And that Excel yep. spreadsheet used to come to us, which had a whole bunch of different tables. A BDM used to take at least about 25 minutes just to fill out that Excel spreadsheet. 
oh with God. all the information. Okay. And then we send it into the pricing team and they can take sometimes up to about 48 hours to mm. return that. So we removed all of that. Yep. We've set up IPT, which is now available on our broker portal. Mm. Again, accessible to all our accredited brokers. They send, they put the request in mm. instantaneous. Yep. It gives them an approval straight away. And the way that we operate is we definitely want to be in the top quarter. Wow. And we're seeing ourselves in the top quarter. So whatever's our base rate, mm. if you want just a few bips more, IPT. Available upfront, PDF document comes out straight away, yeah. instantaneous. You're not waiting for anything. Yep. Put it in your submission. Mm. Assessors pick it up. That moves through. That's awesome because that was, you know, that was where when I was a BD and many, many moons yeah. ago, that's what I wanted. I, I didn't want the cheapest rate because yeah. you knew you're going to get slammed. Correct. You just wanted it in the middle of the yeah. um, the uh, the market. Yeah. But you're going to get good service in the break. Hundred percent. Yeah. And and so this is where the whole value proposition piece comes in, right? Yeah. And we know what's because brokers are working in the best interest of the client. Yeah. Right. So in bid, you got to be able to justify how your selection mm. is good for the client. Yep. That's where we want to add value and that's where we play in. Mm. We're good with the process. We're good with the time. Mm. We're good with the pricing. Yep. In terms of the banking overall, mm. um, reputable bank, we've been around for a period of time. Mm. Our online banking platform is really great. Mm. We're also now going through the onboarding journey. This is the best part that I, I have absolute pride in mm. to say that our onboarding experience is one where you have a personal banker who is your client's banker for the first three months of their banking journey with us. Okay. No other bank offers that. Yeah, yeah. So our personal bankers leave their contact details. So in case the client has anything during mm. the first three months, they've got a personal banker there. Yep. I will have to ask though, there is no uh, uh, channel conflict? 100% not. Yeah. It, 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 there's, no, there's no benefit mm. for any of our personal bankers to do anything which is rewriting or anything like that. Yep. Plus, we've got systems in place to ensure that that does not happen. Yep. If it does, by manual error, we can fix up yep. straight away. So that's where I think we are way different to the market. Mm. Right? No, that's awesome. Okay, so so we're going to, you know, we've, we've touched on the sunlight, how fast yep. it is and how cool it is and so forth. We all know that. What is the type of deals you don't want though? Because cause I think... I think the humans being humans, right? Yep. We go, right, we know Suncorp's got a really Correct. good turnaround time. They've got a, a sweet rate yep. um, and so forth. I'm going to send my deal there. And then it doesn't go inside the 48 hour yep. thing. And then you get frustrated. But yep. it's not because of that, it's just because it didn't fall into this one. Correct. Right. So, so we're talking about self employed income, isn't it? So, basic self employed, which is notice of assessments. Mm. And all we need is notice of assessments to establish that. Yep. The last two years. We're fine with that. Okay, so that will be sunlight. Yeah, correct. Okay. Where it's complex, what I mean by complex is multiple entities. Mm. You're pulling income out of multiple entities. You've got multiple trusts. Yep. We do them, but be prepared, and we'll tell you straight out, be prepared for that journey to take up to about 20 days. Yep. Because... As you can appreciate with those kind of deals. I'm just basically saying, don't give it to them, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but, Look, on, no, no, I appreciate uh, this, honestly, right? Exactly, yeah. right? Because you, you, you do see those questions in Finance Coffee, right? Who will take a depreciation? Who will take, oh, you know, a, a one-stop? Yeah, ad backs, yeah. All those ad backs. Yeah. Their sisters are not accountants. That's the first thing. That's right. And if Abe's saying that it's going to take 20 days, don't go there. <laughs> right. so, Look, I, I'm just being honest, right? Yeah. It's not that we don't do those kind of deals. We can, mm. yet position it with your clients. It can take some time, mm. right? And yes, there'll be a little bit of table tennis because to your point, our assessors are not accountants. They've got a certain kind of metric mm. that they have to achieve. Each bank's policy is different. Add backs the way that one bank looks at it to another bank looks at it is yep. completely different. We just got to appreciate that and recognize that. And so when an assessor picks up the phone and says, hey, this is what I can do for you, they're coming to you with a solution. They're not. It's not that they're not appreciative of the way that you've submitted the deal. Mm. To, meet it, to make it meet Suncorp's policy, this is what they will do. No, I appreciate that honestly because obviously, um, you know, where I think most most lenders don't say it, 
Uh, they don't separate the two. Correct. Um, and um, I suppose one of the things when a, a broker listens to, you know, or, or reads yeah. something going, wow, that guy, that, that lender's got a new rate, Correct. awesome turnaround time, I'm going to go there. But it's, you know, and then they say that they had a bad experience. Yeah. But it's, it's because, it's, you know, they, they weren't, didn't really know what Absolutely you were Absolutely right, Dan. So. Absolutely right. Mm. right. And so that's the reason why we just want to be upfront and be mm. crystal clear in terms of, what our preferred deals are yep. for the deals that you're bringing, which is outside of our preference, this is the experience you're going to have. Yep. Right? Outside of that, we give you all the tools. So the valuations, upfront valuations, you have access to it. IPT, which is our instantaneous pricing tool, you have access to that. Sun Verify, you have access to that. So all of those things, from a technology perspective, mm. we're trying to make it as seamless as possible in respect to the transaction. Yeah. There you go. Um, Kind of coffee you're drinking? Because I've, I've been I've been drinking the hair, so I'm a little bit yeah. rude. All right, this is fine. It's a coffee. We don't talk about the coffee. Um, where I, I'm, I I drink a soy latte. Yeah, and I always kind of find it interesting, you know, with people's choices in terms of what they drink. So as you can appreciate, your meeting number one, right? Um, in a day, I normally have about uh, about three to four meetings. Yep. And normally it's pretty rude not, not to, have to have a coffee, coffee. right? Yeah. So as we all know, that's the culture, right, of meetings. Yep. Um, so what I do is I lace myself up with a long macchiato, a right. long mac. Yeah. Um, that kicks me off for the day. Yeah, okay. Uh, the next two meetings will probably be a bit of a black tea or some juice. Right, okay. And then the like afternoon one, uh, around two or three, would be another long mac. Oh. And that keeps me going. Okay, That that's... That's kind of insane, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because well, back in my, you know, when I was the BDM yeah. side, I'd have at least three, at least. Yeah. And it was always a like coffee at every one. Yeah. Um, and I, I just was very mindful not to have one after three. Yeah. Because then I know that I wouldn't sleep. You'd just be buzzing. Yeah, I'd be buzzing. <laughs> yeah. What about you on the weekends? Do you, do you drink coffee on the weekends? Uh, yes, I do. You do? So again, uh, one long Mac to start me off. Yeah. Um, and then normally when, when I'm with the kids or something, I, we normally have some kind of a juice or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, out and about. And um, yeah, in the afternoons, I don't have a coffee because that gives me my time for my uh, a quick siesta. Yep. Uh, that you, gives you me. Siesta? I do try to. All right, yeah. <laughs> with two kids around, it's not that, uh, it's not possible. I mean, yep. uh, probably. Probably, um, I think my daughter Anya says this quite often. She says uh, at probably three o'clock, uh, she sees me leaning against one of the posts at home yep. or uh, just uh, sitting on the couch and sees me quickly having a quick nod off for about five minutes. And then she's like, yep, that's got his CSL. Yes, let's go on to the next run. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've recently had that, d- taking a CSS on a Sunday. Yeah. And I initially, I felt really guilty about it. Then I just realized that my kids don't really care. No. <laughs> And it was my wife, so like, <laughs> that's become a thing on a Sunday. I, I think I think it's important to recharge, mm. right? And yep. even when you take those quick breaks, yep. um, it gives you the energy for your next burst, yeah. for your next bit of being available and being present. And so, yeah, I think it's oh. important. As, as what you do, you, you need to always be present, especially 100%. for you, right? So, 100%. Um, now, just, just um, thank you for that. Okay, so I'm I'm going to ask you something a little bit difficult. Sure. Um, now, obviously, we see everything is 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 um, very positive about you guys. Yep. Right? They're very exciting. Yep. The the there is notations about something that they um, the audience feels that you uh, not so great, but it's not you. It's okay. actually your settlements mm-hmm. department. Yep. Not your department. Yep. Sorry, the uh, FMS. Yeah. So how how does a, a broker, I suppose, get mentally ready because they're going to have this great experience with you, right? Docs out, blah, 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 yep. blah, blah, blah. And then the waiting. It's a great question. Yeah. I love it, right? So FMS have also been on a journey with us, right? Um, we have been um, having regular catch-ups with them. Mm-hmm. And now we're sharing with them some of the feedback that we're getting. Yep. And as a result of that, they're taking um, a keener interest with regards to the whole customer experience. Mm. So we're aligned. That's the first thing, right? Yep. The second thing is back to our technology piece. Mm. In the past, we had uh, DocuPrep, which right. was what was used mm. uh, as the uh, center for brokers to lodge and see where the deal's at. Mm. We've now gone to my portal view. Right. Now, MPV is a great um, 
tool for the brokers because what it does is the moment the docs are back, they can track where that specific file is at from a settlement perspective. Mm. If FMS puts something in which is missing, mm. they can immediately upload from doc from MPV straight away. They can have a chat with the settlement officer. Yep. And they can start moving the file along. That's cool. We've updated the comments to make it more relevant because sometimes there was a lot of technical jargon, mm. which brokers were left, uh, what does this mean? Yeah. What yeah. does it mean to us? So yep. now we're starting to make it really specific, which is this is a comment that requires the broker to action or this mm. is a comment which is required by Suncorp to action. Mm. We've also got a conduit over there that's working with them yep. on a regular basis to catch up and ensure that, you know, Every day, how many settlements, what are we at, what's important, what's critical. Mm. So I think that journey is going to get a lot more better. I'm not saying it's the best right now, but I'm saying we're working on it. We've got the right people over there. We've got the right processes yeah. in place. So so, th so I, I guess for the audience is, is you guys definitely understand. You guys hear it and then Correct. you're going to try to make it better. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because we know that, you know, uh, it's great to go and buy a shiny new toy from the store mm. but when you go to unpack it yeah. and if the toy is not usable straight away mm. then you've lost the entire experience well the we toy is it. great but, but maybe the battery or whatever correct. it is right so correct. yeah yeah like a tesla but exactly. it. <laughs> i don't have a tesla that was a leading one that was a leading one it was a joke, was a joke. Was a joke. Was, um i love to have an electric car but i don't have a garage so i can't <laughs> i can't have an electric car Sorry, we're, we're looking into um, a renovation. Right, okay. And we're going right to so, you know, what's the next step? So nice. we, we need a car. Nice. Well, uh, everyone's going to go electric. Yeah. Right? But right now, if we had one, we'd have to lead a cable right out to, um, Fair enough. to the yeah. street. And yeah. that's, that's not cool, whether it's dangerous or whether someone could come and cut the wires. But J Just imagine this, right? Mm. What if we were in Asia? How would it work in Asia? It's not I can tell work. you in my country... <laughs> We'd probably plug straight through the power cables out yep. on the street or something like that. <laughs> well, well, it's it's funny they they use scooters in Vietnam, yep. and there's some electric scooters, and you go, you actually change the battery yep. at, at a at yeah, a yeah. service station. Yeah. Um. So that works with a scooter. I'm not sure yep. how that would work with a car. Mm. So it's unless the batteries are easy and interchangeable, it's not going to work no, at all. So, no. Um. But I think in in Asia, I don't I, I don't think personal vehicles. Yep. Will, other way it needs to be public yeah transport. but then if, if you look at the density of population and also you mm. look at the infrastructure over there mm. i think the two wheelers are generally a lot more uh easier for people to get around with isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, there you go um all right but mate any any anything else would you like the, the audience to know look um i think the key part for uh everybody to understand and know is um we're on a journey of continuous improvement. We're not saying we're the best. Oh, yeah. We'd like to be the best. We'd like our competitors to know that we're aspiring to understand what they do really well mm. and then do better. I, That's the journey that we're on. Yeah. I, th I think you guys just be you right now, which is you, you guys are doing a fantastic job. Right? Yeah. And um, I think the, the audience will tell you Absolutely, absolutely. So. And, and, and that's the other thing, right? It's our humble request to always keep the lines of communication open. In other words, we're open to feedback. We're open to understand what our weaknesses are. Mm. And we're always, and this is something which even, you know, our CEO is very open mm. about, right? And he keeps saying this, ask a broker and the broker will tell you, without any kind of reservations whatsoever, which is amazing, right? And so we hold your opinions in high value because that's what inspires us to make us better. That doesn't mean you're going to go nuts because <laughs> I will still remove your comments, right? So, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, again, it's, it's, it's within reason. So, Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we, we do understand that when emotions are high, you say things you probably don't mean. Yep. Um, and being an ex uh BDM and the next credit officer, yeah. um, you know, there's always, you know, five sides to every story. Yeah. Um, so I, I guess the, the whole point for it, finance and coffee was actually, you know, you, you're learning a good way to do things Correct. as well as, as actually maintaining friendships. Correct. So you and I first started talking when you were at somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, and, then, and now we're still chatting. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. And, and that's the amazing part about this industry, right? Mm. Um, 
it's not an industry of uh, business. It's an industry of actual relationships. And that's where I think all of us value each other mm. because we have an important part for our clients. If we have a good, solid relationship, yep. our clients get the best. That's what matters. And conversely, you please have a good relationship and be respectful to your BDMs. Absolutely. Right? Because Absolutely. I would move mountains for my brokers when oh. they were nice to me. Yep. But if you can be rude to me, I will just let it go on the conveyor mm. belt. <laughs> right. So Hey, um, let's let let's not let the secrets out or yeah. No, but it, it's it's just it's just it's a natural it human yeah. behavior, right? Yeah. You would do the same thing with your clients. Correct. Right. So if the client's being a, a real, you know, mean person to you, you're gonna you're not gonna run fast yeah. or drop everything for yeah. them. So yeah. But um no, Matt, hey, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thanks for your time, Dean, and thanks for the opportunity over here to connect with your audience and connect with uh, a whole bunch of people that uh, we're doing good business with. Mm. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, more importantly, we love the relationship that we're having over here. Um, it, it's a great vehicle and it's a great tool for us to get close with our broker partners, mm. uh, for us to get close with the industry and for us to continuously improve. So yep. we love it. Great. No, thank you. No, thank you. And guys, um, don't take what he has to say. Do the search because you can see Absolutely. it. It's, it's, uh, and it's not me posting it. It's, it's multiple people posting it um, that they've got onto the Suncourt train. Um, but make sure it is the right Give type of try. deal. Yeah. Yep. Give it a try, but Absolutely. make sure it's the right deal as well. Uh, so no self-employed. <laughs> uh, complex self employed. That's right. <laughs> complex self employed, right? So, otherwise, it's 20 days. Right? Sunlight, sun verify, yep. IPT. That's all we take. Excellent. So, um, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. Thanks, Bye. guys.